has officially started. And this afternoon, we have a really beautiful service here. If you're looking for a wonderful way to relax a little bit and to focus on God at the end of a busy day, at four o'clock, there's going to be a service of Advent reflection here, led by our, one of our choirs, the Schola Cantorum. Last about 45 minutes, um, and it will be a wonderful way to a wonderful way to focus at the end of the day. Um, so please do come along to that. Um, Tessa, have, is the facade full? Have, have we got in, um, have we got innkeepers for every night? I have, I've got one, one possible um, slot. There's one possible slot left. If you so we, later in this service. Um, we've got a wonderful knitted Mary and Joseph and Donkey who are going to be blessed before they go on their Advent journey. They're going to be visiting various houses um, around the parish and beyond, and there's one possible slot left. If you'd like to be involved and haven't managed to sign up for it, have a word with Tessa. She will tell you all about it. Um, there, if you look at the back of the church, turn around and have a look, um, there's an amazing... Christmas tree made of woolen, woolly hats. If, you're, if your head's feeling a bit cold, mine does this time of year because I don't have much hair left. Um, if your head's feeling a bit cold, um, why not buy a woolly hat and there's a bucket next to the woolly hat tree and all of the, the proceeds from that go to Cherry Trees, which is an amazing uh, respite care home in East Clandon um, uh, where um, amazing work is done for families in great need. So buy a woolly hat for you or for someone that you love maybe the perfect Christmas present a uh, Christmas present with a bit of meaning so there we go, just a hint <laughs> um, um, there's news in here about our Christmas services particularly just to alert you to the first carol service which is the carol service for this church, West Clandon on the 11th of December at 6pm and then in East Clandon um, at um, 6pm on the 18th of December so please do put one of those or both of those in your diary. It would be wonderful to have you come along. Um, there is a hymn this morning, which is quite well known, but not to everyone. And so we're going to have a, just before the service starts properly, we thought we'd have a little run through. And it is the Offertory Hymn, which is on page seven of your orders of service. So Tessa, do you want to give me a hand? Yeah, Tessa and Sebastian and I are going to sing it. If you want to join in, you can if you know it, um, but um, we're going to sing through the first verse and chorus of I Am the Bread of Life, and then all of the verses, but none of the rest of the choruses, but we'll sing all of the choruses when we sing it later. So, let's... I am the bread of life, you who come to me shall not hunger, and who believe shall not thirst, no one can come to me unless the Father draw them, and I will raise you up, and I will raise you up, and I will raise you up on the last day. The bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world, and if you eat of this bread, you shall live forever, you shall live forever. Got it? There we go. Go to the next one. I am the resurrection, I am the life, if you believe in me, even though you die, you shall live forever. Last verse. Yes, Lord, I believe. Start it again. Yes, Lord, I believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, who has come into the world. Then we but do you know, if whatever happens, we're going to just carry on. It's going to be brilliant. You, ca you join and catch up. It's going to be lovely. Sebastian's going to sing. I uh, don't to sing. You can sing if you want to. But he's probably going to play the organ for a few moments longer um, while I go and get myself fully attired. 
for fully purpled, and I'll see you all in a moment. Stand for the first thing. Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. I wonder whether I can have a volunteer who can help me this morning. Josh, do you want to come forward? And I need another volunteer. Digby, do you want to come? Um, so Josh and Digby, I'll get Josh, you're going to help light the first Advent candle. Digby, we've got a very special thing which is new to us this Advent. Tess's daughter, Nikki, made these wonderful little um, peg dolls. 
And this is the first Advent petrol. What does it say on the bottom? Hope. Because today is the Sunday where we remember the hope that all Christians have for God's coming. So when we light the candle, can you come and put the little hope dolly up here? Thanks, isn't it? There we go. George, hold that. Be careful. It does have a tendency to shoot down. So to put your thumb just there, stop it. Hold on. And so we light our first Advent candle to remind us of God's people who in every way age hope and watch for God's coming. People of God, awake. The day is coming soon when you shall see God face to face. Remember the ways and works of God. God calls you out of darkness to walk in the light of his coming. You are God's children. Lord, make us one as we walk with Christ today and forever. Amen. Oh, come, oh, come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel, that was in lonely exile here, until the sun to worship Almighty God, we remember that we are in the presence of one who loves us. And so we call to mind our sins. I'm going to let Helen find Verity. We call to mind our sins and we are she's got her brilliant. And we ask for God's forgiveness. So we sit or kneel to pray. <coughs> Lord, you are gracious and compassionate. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. You are loving to all and your mercy is over all your creation. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Your people bless your name and proclaim your glorious King. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. So may the God of love bring us back to himself, forgive us our sins, and assure us of his eternal love in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I'm going to stand now to sing the Gloria in Excelsis, which if you haven't sung this before with us, has some clapping in it. So just every time we sing Gloria, just give a couple of claps. Glory up, glory up, in a Chelsea's day. Glory up, glory up, in a Chelsea's day. Lord God, heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. 
Almighty God, as your kingdom dawns, turn us from the darkness of sin to the light of your holiness, that we may be ready to meet you in our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. So we stand to welcome the Gospel as Perry comes up to read. We're going to sing together. Posey's reading. That's right. Sorry, Perry, you were last time. Posey's going to come and read. Alleluia, alleluia, give thanks to the risen Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, give praise to his name. Jesus is Lord of all the earth. He is the King of creation. Alleluia, alleluia, give thanks to the risen Lord. A reading from the Gospel according to St. Matthew. But about that day or hour, no one knows, not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. As it was in the days of Noah, so it will be at the coming of the Son of Man. For in the days before the flood, people were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, up to the day Noah entered the ark, and they knew nothing about what would happen until the flood came and took them all away. That is how it will be at the coming of the Son of Man. Two men will be in the field, one will be taken and the other left. Two women will be grinding with a handmill, one will be taken and the other left. Therefore keep watch, because you do not know what your... Therefore keep watch, because you do not know on what day your Lord will come. But understand this, if the owner of the house had known at what time of night the thief was coming, he would have kept watch and would not have let his house be broken into. So you also must be ready, because the Well, I wonder whether the children can come and give me a hand at the front, because... Come on, everyone come up. You're all welcome. Come on. Come, come and give me a hand. I'm going to need your help. Everyone, I'm going to need your help. Uh, because today is Advent Sunday, which means that after today, there are only three Sundays left before Christmas. Christmas, do you know what day of the week Christmas is on this year? Yes. Oh, no, close. Well, sort of. Think sort of 24 days after that. <coughs> so it is on a Sunday. It's on Sunday, December the 25th. There we go. So, uh, so Three days before your birthday, Kerry. Oh, my goodness. Well, we'll, we all think, we'll be thinking of you on the 28th of December. That's marvellous. How wonderful. Thank you for bringing that up. That's really great. Yes. <laughs> You're going to be eight. Yeah. When are you? <laughs> really? There we go. And he's good. You're going to be? Um, Abby always be one. Two. There we go. You're going to be two, Abby. Yeah. Marvellous. It's, do you know, I'm look, who's looking forward to Christmas? Looking forward to Christmas? What are you looking forward to most? Are you looking forward to Brussels sprouts? Yes. 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 yes? yes, Brussels sprouts. Who else likes Brussels sprouts? No. Brussels sprouts, they're tiny little cabbages. <laughs> yes, they're amazing. I'll hold that for you, of course. What are you looking forward to? To, to see him Father Christmas? Do you think you'll see him? Yes, there you go. What are you looking forward to? Your dad's roast, is he good at cooking? Oh, wow. There we go. What are you looking forward to? I'm looking forward to a carrot. Excellent. You're all being very. This is, this is not what I expected at all. What's your Christmas presents, there we get to. There we get to the real thing. It's going to be your birthday. In, in that minute, when's your birthday? February, so not very, not very far away. A whole nine months away. Excellent. There we go. 
is going to be marvellous. So who's looking forward to presents? Yes. Who doesn't? Who doesn't look forward to presents? You were all being ever so good though in saying Dad's roast, Brussels sprouts, giving things to other people, particularly reindeer, but presents. There we go. Now I. Do you know what? I love Advent. This Advent is this season of waiting, where we wait for Christmas. Yeah, we light a candle every Sunday until we get to Christmas, where we light this one. Advent's a period of waiting. Why is that pink? No, no, white one. The white, the white one is the Christmas candle to remind us of Jesus, because Jesus is very special and very holy and pure. And so we have a white one. That's his birthday candle. The, that's his birthday candle. That's actually well done. Thank you for that. Um, so, Advent is this time of preparing ourselves, not just to celebrate Christmas, but also preparing our hearts to meet Jesus. But, that said, I do have rather a lot to do to prepare for Christmas. And here, well, you're going to help me now. I've got Barnaby's big Advent to do this. Now, you're going to take it in turns if you can write. Otherwise, you can help with ideas. What do you think I might come? You can gather around. Here we go. Put it down on the ground like this. Grab a pen. You've got to share. Maybe, Tessa, we might need you. And Helen, thank you. So, go on. Uh, so grab a pen. Don't stand on the whiteboard. Um, so, what, what do you think? I think... Yeah, I'll, I'll be going like that. Come round here, did you? So, what do you think? What do you think I need to put on my big advent to do this? What stuff do I need for Christmas? Christmas tree. Who can you? What, what are you putting there, did we? Oh, there we go. So, can somebody? Could somebody write down Christmas tree on my big advent to do this? Christmas tree, thank you. Uh, what else? What else might we need to do? What, are, what, do, you, what do you think we might need to do? So decorations. Yeah, thank you. James has given us a good one. We need to, can somebody write decorations? Sweets. I need to buy some, I do need to buy some sweets actually, thank you. I need to buy some chocolates for everyone on Christmas morning. Can somebody write decorations? Decorations. Anything else? Who do you need to write to? Who do you need to? Who do, you need, who do we need to write to? We need to write to Father Christmas. So can you write to? Can write to Father Christmas. That's another good one. Oh, we got another one, James. Do you have any idea? What's, what, what's your idea? Oh. I'll tell you what, if, if you remember, just chatting, okay? Brilliant. What else is there? What else is there? I help you. <laughs> Turkey. So food. Can somebody write down food? All the lovely, yummy Christmas food and baking. You can write down Brussels sprouts, definitely. Write down Brussels sprouts, my favourite. What? What? Now, this is one for the adults. We've only got 19 days barring po any postal strikes, I guess, 19 days left to get, oh, what was, what was he Oh, to help others, definitely, thank you very much. Remember Jesus. It really is. Do you want to write down help others? So if you could grab a pen at some point when someone's finished and write help others. Um, there's 19 days left of this barring any postal strikes. What do you need to do within the next 19 days if you want to use a cheaper stamp? I couldn't know. They're keeping the game away, haven't I? Christmas cards. Can somebody write down Christmas cards? Christmas cards. If they have Oh, it's done. Cards are already on. Thank you very much. Um, anything, anything else? Anything? Who? I know you get presents from... Father Christmas, no Christmas. Do you give presents to people? No? No? Just Santa Claus do you get presents from. Does, does mummy or does, does daddy give mummy a present or mummy give daddy a present? Both? So, do we need to do some shopping? Some Christmas shopping? 
and we and and wrapping. Christmas shopping and wrapping, yeah? There we go. I think you've almost got everything I've got on my on my list of things I thought of. Where's potatoes? This is a good list. This is very comprehensive. So have we been have we got I think I think much more on this list and I'm gonna I'm gonna have too much to do. I think this is this the last one? Stockings. Shopping. Okay. Shall we do, you can put your lids on your pens now and we're gonna hold up our Christmas. Barnaby's big advent to do this. It really is a big list. And we're going to give you a round of applause. You can go back to your seats. Thank you. Well done. Oh my goodness. It's even illustrated. There is an actual Christmas tree on there. No, put the, give, give the pen to the okay. You can go and have a sit down. There we go. That is Barnaby's. Oh, good luck, indeed. I'm going to need it. This is my big advent to do this. I'm going to put it on the chair for you to see for a moment. So, we've got, in order of importance, one being the most important, sweets. <laughs> um, I think that was the first one to go on the list. Sweets, uh, Christmas food, shopping. If you wish, which is your one? Show me. Which is your one? Shopping. Oh, you did this wonderful drawing. What's that drawing? You've not did Oh, but you did this drawing. 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 Good boy. Careful down those steps. You need this, Fab, don't you? Jesus told today, some of the stories um, in the Bible seem a little bit strange, and in this story, there are people who are out in the field, ploughing, and then suddenly, one of them disappears, just like that. Um, if you like Harry Potter, they disapparated, they kind of, whoop. Um, yeah, um, there's another person who's making some flour, they're grinding corn, making flour, and they just disappeared. Um, that's what happens in the region. And that might seem a little bit strange, maybe a little bit frightening. I know some people in America that I spoke to once thought that this was actually going to happen and that there would be people flying aeroplanes and suddenly the pilot would go whoop and the co-pilot would be left flying the aeroplane. I think that, I'm not quite sure that's what Jesus actually meant. Um, I don't think he was saying to us, be on the watch for people. Do you remember rent a ghost Remember Mrs. Popoff? Yeah. Yes. I don't think he. I don't think he was saying be on the watch for Mrs. Popoff, who every time she smelled flowers and sneezed, she would disappear somewhere. He wasn't saying that. What he was saying is, you are going to meet me when you least expect me. You're going to meet me when you're doing something when you're doing something completely normal, like out in the field or making some flour or cooking a meal, or just going shopping, that's when you're going to meet me. It's going to be completely unexpected, but if you pay attention, it will change your life forever. That's what he was saying. You're going to meet me when you least expect it, but if you pay attention, it will change your life forever. What on earth does that look like? Well, I'm going to give you some ideas. It might be that Jesus is saying that we should look for his presence in the people that we meet today, right now, to prepare ourselves for the different ways that he's going to meet us right now. And most of the time, we don't really expect Jesus, and it might be quite easy to just 
um, ignore his presence among us completely because it's very subtle. We might meet him in somebody that we don't like very much. Are there people at school who, if you've got friends at school, are there people who you're not so keen on at school? Yeah. Are you saying, yes, I do, or yes, it's me? <laughs> there, all of us have people that we really like and people that we're not so keen on. But it might be that Jesus meets us in that person that we don't like very much. And what we're called to do is to do something kind and thoughtful and considerate for them. Maybe it's somebody who we don't like very much who we need to forgive. By doing that, we meet Jesus. with someone And in doing that, Jesus meets us, and our life is changed forever. Maybe we might meet Jesus in somebody at school who just needs a friend, or somebody at work, or somebody in the village who just needs a friend, somebody that everyone else has forgotten about. <coughs> Maybe we might meet Jesus in somebody who really, really needs our help. There are all sorts of ways that we can meet Jesus, and in Advent, what we're doing is we're trying to pay attention and focus on the people and the places that we might see, that we might, where we might find Jesus in our lives today. Now there's one place, I said a moment ago, that when we meet Jesus, most of the time, it's easy to, you know, it's completely unexpected, but it will change us forever. But there is one place where we meet Jesus, and it's not unexpected, but it will still change us forever. And that is in the thing that we're about to do in a moment. We're going to take bread, and we're going to take wine, and we're going to pray over them. And Jesus tells us, when you pray together over this bread and this wine, this becomes me. This becomes my presence. This becomes my life, and I give it to you. And if we pay attention, if we pay attention enough, we open our hearts, receiving Jesus in the bread and wine of Holy Communion, can change our lives forever, because we come to him and we say, thank you. I don't bring anything to you, you give everything to me, thank you for giving me your life. Yes, Lord, what do you want to say? You had your hand up, or are you just waving? Do you want to say something? Just waving. It's good to see you. <laughs> there we go. So Advent is all about paying attention and waiting and looking for Jesus in our lives, but also coming to the place where Jesus says, I'm definitely there, I'm definitely with you. Open your hearts, receive me, and I will change your life. So, who's up for a change this Advent? Yes? Life's changed. Brilliant. Amen. Well, we're now going to stand, and we are, I can't remember where I put my order of service. I put it down somewhere. Thank you. We're now going to stand and declare our faith in God, and we use the words on page six of our order of service. The one for whom we exist. We believe and trust in you. Do you believe and trust in God the Son, who took our human nature, died for us, and rose again? We, we believe, believe and trust, trust in him. him. Do you believe and trust in God the Holy Spirit, who gives life to the people of God and makes Christ known in the world? We, we believe, believe and trust, trust in him. him. This is the faith of the Church. This, this is our faith. faith. We, we believe and trust in one God. God. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, 
Amen. So, please be seated as we invite the children up who are going to be helping us with our prayers. So if you know you're doing some prayers, just come up to the front. <coughs> So we stand. Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Let us offer one another a sign of God's peace.
There's so many of you, I'd be here for ages if I came and shook all of your hands, but please be with you. As we stand, we're going to sing our offertory hymn. Um, the ch some children are going to bring the bread and wine up to the altar, and they're also going to bring Mary and Joseph up to the altar too. But as we stand, we sing, I am the bread of life. You can come to me and shall not come again. Father, from all you give us, we present this bread and wine. As we serve you now, accept our offering and sustain us with your promise of eternal life. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is right to praise you, Father, Lord of all creation. In your love you made us for yourself. When we turned away, you did not reject us, but came to meet us in your Son. You embraced us as your children and welcomed us to sit and eat with you. In Christ you shared our life that we might live in him and he in us. He opened his arms of love upon the cross and made for all a perfect sacrifice for sin. On the night he was betrayed at supper with his friends, he took the bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to them, saying, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Father, we do this in remembrance of him. His body is the bread of life. At the end of supper, 
Taking the cup of wine, he gave you thanks and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in remembrance of me. Father, we do this in remembrance of him. His blood is shed for all. As we proclaim his death and celebrate his work, this bread and this wine may be to us the body and blood of your dear Son. As we eat and drink these holy gifts, make us one in Christ, our risen Lord. And so with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, St. Peter, St. Paul, St. Thomas of Canterbury, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we offer you this sacrifice of praise and lift our voice to join the eternal song of heaven. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We pray to the Father in the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, for the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Every time we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the Lord's day until he comes. Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Jesus, the bearer of our sins, have mercy on us. Jesus, Redeemer of the world, grant us your peace. God's holy gifts for God's holy people. Jesus Christ is holy. Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. All are welcome to receive God's gifts from this altar. If you prefer to receive a blessing when you come to the front of church, please bring your order of service with you as a sign to me that you prefer to receive a blessing.
thanks to God for his life which he shares with us in Holy Communion. Almighty God, we have broken your bread and received your life. By the power of your Spirit, keep us always in your life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We're now going to stand to sing our final hymn, Jesus Shall Reign Where'er the Sun, on page 13 of your service book. So we're going to pray for God's blessing. Do you want to hold on to those? And stay at the front with us. Jesus, born in a stable, give your hope to the homeless. Jesus, child of Mary and Joseph, give your love to all. Jesus, light of the world, give your light to those in darkness. Jesus, Son of God, give us your peace this Christmas. Heavenly Father, Bless and protect the homes which will provide shelter to Mary and Joseph. Inspire us to help those in need and help us to know Christ's presence in our lives. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. May God the Father, who loved the world <laughs> so much that he sent his only Son to come among us in great humility, open our eyes to look for his coming again and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. As we await the coming of Jesus our Saviour, go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.